in this video, we will continue on with the point of sale system, and this is basically part four. So in here, we're going to now solve some tiny issues here, but basically we will uh, pinpoint this part here. We're going to solve here to make this at least look nicer, like the total, and also the total amount here, and we put in a button here eventually, and that button would be for the checkout. So let's start and work on this. So this will be very straightforward because it's quite easy to, de to deal with this, these items here. All right. So the first one would be here in the order section. It should be somewhere here. Uh, there we are. All right. So in here, all we need to do here is the first one. We have this. And I guess this could be a list item. It will be fine. Uh, or we could do it like a item like this. Doesn't matter so much. So we have here total and then I would say here would be total items total items and then here this this could be a list it could be a span doesn't matter so much I guess what would make sense is a list here list item oh unordered list we also unordered list class and this class will be list unstyled list unstyled but we also grab this one here so maybe a div would be fine as well I uh, start to realize but doesn't matter now all right uh, this should be in here I guess if we put in here this class there we are and then in here we have the total items and this should be a span or maybe as well big text the same here uh, let's put this in here big and then here as well so if you wonder what would be more sensible if I look at it it uh, you could probably find me without the list item it could be an easy div uh, if I look at it it should be a div probably far better but that's alright for now so if you want to convert into div, you can go ahead as well. It's very straightforward. You would say div here, remove the unordered list div, and then you just grab these items in the div. So I'm going to, but for now, I'll just maintain this just to avoid confusion. We have this one here. There we have that. All right. So let's see. We have this span here. Delete this span. There we are. So if I save this right now, total items all right and what I would like to do here eventually is we have the big items and then we have the where should we put the dollar sign it should be here so I realized that to to add up here the dollar sign we cannot do it like this if you do it like this you'll see it will disappear here afterwards so move it back here you'll see it will disappear the moment we click on this all right so it overwrites itself so the best solution would be in here we have this big I guess what we could do here is a span and then we have the big here is a dollar sign and the span will cover the ID here and we save that and then we have this there you are as you can see here we could even do the following we could say here 0 0.00 for now there you are and there you that's it all right so then that would be an option here next we could do here with the total items and uh oh sorry this would be total uh total amount there we are and then here we have that so that's fine we have the space between your total items and what i like to do here this should be class font weight bold yeah, we can do that one and I realize that this big in uh, bootstrap they have also the uh, other class that is one of the newest one is font size and then you can put in here the big the size and probably that could be we could even remove the big at that moment then because then this has no value anymore this is an extra new item in bootstrap 5 by the way so if I save this now refresh I want to make sure this is bold and the upper one is bold what I will do here is put here a default of zero all right so if i put in here a default of zero save that refresh there we are 
Then if I clear this, what will happen? Oh, all right, so as you can see here, this becomes very nice. Do this, we clear it, and it goes to zero, it goes back here, it indicates already zero. Beautiful. So now we have this covered. What I would like to do here, finally, is a button. That button would be eventually the button that will push us to another page, or not really other page, on another tab outside of these tabs here, because these tabs here are just for the item items that you can select but the moment the customer is ready says all right i want to confirm my my uh, orders when you click on this the person or the cashier should see here a screen with payment options and a calculation how much the person put in and then what would be the change if there would be any change exact amount change or any anything here so it's like a instant calculator as well all right so to do this we have to go here and just in here i'm going to put in another item and this uh, i guess this really should be a diff it's a horrible design for now but fair enough so what i will do here is this can be all emptied out we don't need this here we're going to put in a button and this button i'll make this blue now say class btn and then btn primary and then we say here maybe btn large of uh, lg for large and then uh, width 100 what we will say here is check out in caps locks i guess that's all right we do this refresh there we are we should put in here a horizontal line as well just to make sure it looks a bit more different there we are Press, press. All right. So we have this here. We have the checkout here. And then we have this. I guess there's something underneath here. Let's see. What is this? I want to check. This is the card. Fair enough. I want to remove the space here because I assume that there is some padding or margin below here that is unwanted right now. As you can see here, it is in this unordered list. So we say here margin bottom zero. margin bottom zero save that refresh all right click on this so we have this now nicely done this eventually we need to have here a fixed height to ensure that this has a height and then after it should become scrollable that will be very important and of course we have to start working on the button here that will be for the next video now what i want to do here maybe to clear or make this nice like the clear button a pill and this should maybe be as well so you have nice rounded buttons so i say here pill rounded let's solve that refresh all right so that one is here let's solve those as well and after i almost forgot one item i want to solve so i'll show you that as well let's solve these first the food and drink pills nav pills and this is it is a pill but for some reason it doesn't have the shape of a pill why i don't know well, you can just select that here. You say on the button here, if I save this and refresh, here you are. All right. Then same here for this button. If I select this, there we are. All right. So we have this now. And what I want to do here, and this was what I referred to before. And you probably have noticed already how to do it. But if not, I will explain to you as well. So you could see this one here. We have the items and this. And this on click here. And it would not make any sense to put in here three of three or more and we will have so many different items and we'll keep on stacking them on top of them would not make sense so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to cut this out this functions here and we're going to put it in the order basket there we go here where we have the order basket all right so this is the order basket function so in here what we want to do once this is all done we want to trigger these two functions as well and i realize they should have the term order basket as well that would be far more logical so we have a clear connection with these all right so if i save this now and we have remember this is only the first one let's see here uh order basket on pizza one all right so i'm going to delete everything save this refresh click on this now you can see it still works nicely even though we move the code which means lesser code here on the HTML, which is far more better practice. So I'm going to do the same thing here now, because everywhere it will have the same triggering. 
So we're going to remove everywhere where it's not necessary. Pizza 1, Pizza 2 also doesn't have it. Pizza 3. I just do it for every single one of them. So that is a better way of coding. Here we are. This is Pizza 6. All right, now the water uh, topics or items. And you can leave the semicolon. But usually the semicolon is meant to mean that there's another function in here being triggered. That's why I use the semicolon. But if you remove the semicolon, it's fine as well. So we have that one here. I'm going to remove this as well. Yes, here we are. Uh, is, am I correct here? Yes, that's correct. All right, there we are. So if I save this now, refresh, select, select, select. All right, now you can see everything works nicely. So if I clear this as well, it's all resets and the total amount has set back to zero. Everything works nicely. Next video, we're going to work with the most complicated item, which will be this, because what we need to do here first is to add up button, and then we have to build the delete item in here, so which that's, that requires certain level of knowledge of arrays as well.